All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's <clears throat> hour number three on the Friday edition of the Steve Molesberg Show. How many times have I sat behind this microphone and, and, and begged for someone to please call out Barack Obama and take some action, somebody, for picking and choosing what laws he's going to follow and not follow and, and who's going to have to obey this part of the law. And, and when it comes to Obamacare, who's going to get a delay and a pass and a buy? And I say, how is this possible? Well, joining us now, very proud to say, is Congressman Tom Rice, Republican from the great state of South Carolina, who is trying <clears throat> to do something about this. Congressman, welcome, sir. Steve, it's an honor to be on your show. Well, it's an honor to talk to you. you I, I got to tell you, really, what, what you're doing here, is, you and 30 members of the, of the House, um, you want to bring up Barack Obama to court for not faithfully executing the laws and following the Constitution. And this is so long overdue, I, I think it's unprecedented that, in my mind. Uh, talk about what's going on and what you uh, would like to do about it. Well, as you say, the, uh, the the title of the act is uh, "Stop STFP, Stop This Overreaching Presidency." Uh, the the resolution is just requires a vote of the House. It doesn't even require a vote of the Senate to require the House to bring a lawsuit against the president for violation of Article Two, Section Three of the Constitution, which requires he requires that he take care to faithfully execute the laws of the land. He can't pick and choose which laws he wants to enforce, he has to enforce all the laws. Well, how has he been, uh, Congressman, getting away with it so far? Well, I think the president is someone who will continue to press until he finds the line, and I think we're going to try to uh, push back a little bit. All right. Well, explain how this would work. I mean, uh, you get a, you're, you're looking for a, a resolution, and uh, and you're looking to uh, to bring, or is it a resolution? I mean, a resolution that that will call for action as opposed to a non-binding resolution. Is, the, is that the difference here? On well, a majority vote of the House of Representatives, it will require the House as an institution to bring a lawsuit against the president. Just requires a majority vote of the House. Now, has that happened before? Uh, yes, the House has brought institutional suits to enforce uh, uh, subpoenas where the executive branch has ignored subpoenas in the past. Okay. Uh, we, uh, it was determined in those cases that we had what's called institutional standing. Uh, there has never been a case like this, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, prosecuting it. Now, you mentioned standing, and for a, for a, a layman, uh, non-attorney who fancies himself sometimes as an attorney, uh, uh, let me just ask you this. I know that um, the, the Supreme Court ruled uh, not too long ago in, in a major case that the, the Congress doesn't, you know, doesn't have standing. I know that uh, they just recently filed, uh, some congressmen filed a, a, an amicus brief, and in that case you certainly could do that. But uh, do, would you have, you do have standing to go to court and and to to you know to to start action uh, legal action against the president, you you would be recognized with that standing. Well, I don't think it's a slam dunk either way. But uh, the legal experts that I conferred with before I did this, and I've been working on this for months, uh, came to the conclusion that this is a a legitimate question for the courts. And uh, I think you and and many of your listeners will agree that many of the steps the president has taken are are certainly outside of his authority. Things like uh, extending unilaterally the employer mandate for a year, things like ex uh, allowing the quote-unquote substandard insurance policies <laughs> to continue to be uh, to issued for a year, things like uh, uh, waiving the work requirements under Welfare the reform, yep. Right. The ICE, not, not the de deportations <laughs> with ICE, all these things. You're, abs you're so right. You're so right on target. Uh, now, so let me ask you this. If this resolution doesn't pass, could the 30 of you and anybody else who wants to join in, could you, could you go to court on your own with that same standing, or does this have to be an action of the legislative body? I think it's pretty clear that we would not have individual standing. It has to be an institutional case. Okay, that. that I, yeah. but, but I think if this comes to a vote, it'll pass. You you, you uh, think we, you we, think we, that we're up to yeah, thirty four yeah. today, co sponsors. Okay, and it's it's growing as as word gets out. I didn't put this out until uh, last Thursday, so. Uh, as word gets out, it's growing and growing, I, and I'm hoping that we'll have a snowball with this thing. Well, Congressman, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it, the, the, our founders designed a government of, by, and for the people, and the way that they protect the people is with a separation of powers. 
and, it, and it, a president or anybody who can who can pick and choose the laws and enforce those laws, they're not a president; they're a monarch. Well, uh, that's not what our that's not what our founders designed. And we're going to try to uh, make sure that we live within our constitution. We're talking to Congressman Tom Rice here on the Steve Malsberg Show. Um, and, you know, uh, Jonathan Turley testified before the House the other day, a law professor at George Washington, uh, George Washington University, and, and talked about how, you know, this is uh, an imperial presidency. It's what the founders were afraid of. And, and, and I just think that the call is growing. But um, do, it would take leadership in the House uh, well, to bring— what if, what if the president unilaterally decided yes, next year that he wasn't going to enforce the— Income tax against uh, uh, radio announcers, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or or against congressmen. Right? How no. How people react to that? You're right. You're absolutely right. But let me ask you: Is John Boehner going to going to allow this to come to the floor for a vote? I mean, I yeah, that's what that's what worries me. I, and and another question, and maybe you could address it in the same uh, same answer, is that you know you talk about how this is uh, this he the president has ignored Article Two, Section Three of the Constitution. Article Two, Section Three of the Constitution. Um, uh, uh, yeah, Article Two. I'm sorry, I'm repeating it. Um, I, I mean, is this an impeachable offense in your view? Uh, I think if the president is derelict under his duties under the Constitution, then Impeachment is certainly a remedy. I don't think it's a realistic remedy here. Why not? I don't. I don't think we could get the votes to do it. Do you? No. No. But 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 you believe it's I, what you I, believe I, this is impeachable, was, though. Correct. When I went to my legal experts, here, here's what I said. I said, what can we do short of impeachment to get the president? To okay. Enforce well, now do, now let me re, uh, let me expand on that your answer and, and and rephrase my question or and follow up with it. Uh, Will right impeachment wouldn't happen. The leadership would never go there at all. Um, uh, but will they go for this? Will, have you spoken to any to, to any of Boehner's people or any of the leadership in the in the House in your caucus? And w w is this something that you think they would put up for a vote? I have spoken informally to one or two. There is certainly interest out there. Did I go seek permission? No, I did not. Yeah, I just worry that they don't want to rock the boat, and especially in light of. Uh, Boehner's comments the past few days, you know, ripping Tea Party, ripping conservative groups, and I, I just, I just don't well, have the this, confidence. This is not a Tea Party thing. No, no, this I know that. Not, I know that. This but is I, not a far right thing. All I'm asking is that the president abide by the Constitution absolutely. and enforce the law. That is not Republican. That is not Democrat. It is not a personal thing against Barack Obama. All I want is for the president, just like everybody else in the country, to abide by the law. Yeah, I'm with you. I am with you, and I, I really, really praise you for, for doing this, undertaking this, and you say you've been working on it for a long time. That that uh, makes me admire you even more. Uh, please keep us informed. Uh, you know, I'd love to, to be able to tell the folks how this is progressing, and we'll be in touch with your office because I think this is, oh, so very important because, like you said, it's, like a, it's almost like a kid testing his parents. You know, how much could he misbehave? How far could he push the parents? How much could he get away with? And we're seeing a president here who's, who's doing it and getting away with it, and we'll keep doing it. Where's the line? Yeah. Good. We're, we're, we're going to find out. We will. Congressman, have, have yourself a great uh, weekend, and thank you so much. Steve, it was a pleasure. Anytime. Thank you. Congressman right. Tom Rice, ladies and gentlemen, Republican South Carolina, and um, he's sponsoring a resolution in the House that would, if adopted, uh, direct the legislative body to bring a civil action for declaratory uh, or injunctive relief to challenge certain policies and actions taken by the executive branch. In other words, he wants to take President Obama to court for not faithfully executing the laws and for being in violation or ignoring Article 2, Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution. Cheers! Hear, 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 and cheers. And congratulations, kudos, really, to, to the congressman, because every member of Congress should want this. Every American should want this. You can't have a president deciding, you know, all we heard about the health care law was it's stated law. Well, if it's stated law, how do you pick and choose what parts of it to enforce? Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and radio.